Hey, Gemini's, it's Diane with 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for June 2021. Let's go into your reading, Gemini. Ooh, nice. You got the Sun and the Nine of Cups. That is coming in here. Feels good. Sun card always feels good. <laughs> okay. Let's me know that a lot of clarity is coming in. Happiness, stability is coming in towards you. Okay. Clarity. That's the word that they're giving to me, honestly, um, that I'm feeling here. Okay, but the Nine of Cups lets me know that you're going to be happy with the things that are happening in your life. Start to believe it and receive uh, all of the blessings that uh, the Most High is bringing to you. Okay, even if they are small blessings, they're still blessings. All right. um, let's go into your reading here. So you have the High Priestess coming out. Ooh, okay. For some reason, they're saying there's a, there's a secret to your success. Why is that in the reverse position? Interesting. Okay. So. Gemini, if this reading, I feel like I just called you Libra for some reason. If I did, sorry. For some of you, there's a Libra coming into your life that's going to be very significant as well. They're going to give you a lot of good advice. Um... This could be a lover as well, okay? Someone that has feelings for you, just to let you guys know. So if this reading resonates with you guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload for you again. And if this reading does not resonate with you, make sure you check the description box. All of the zodiac signs will be listed there. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign to get a clearer picture of... What your spirit team wants you to know this week. Give any cards here for Gemini, please. What message do you have here for Gemini? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I said. All right, <laughs> Gemini, you have passion. Okay, passion. All right, try something you've never done before okay and surrender to the wisdom of your body here there's an opportunity coming towards you here gemini that's what i feel and you're going to be very happy with this opportunity here okay both professionally and romantically there are doors opening up for you good door so your card is saying listen to your body's message about a person or situation if you feel physically drained or uncomfortable be cautious if you are energized and happy move forward i feel like someone's coming into your life well i feel both energies here okay you may have people around you that drain you all right there's this need for you to detach yourself from people that drain you or put some distance, okay? Put up some boundaries between you and those individuals and really t start to focus your energy on um, what what feels good to you here, okay? So that is very uh, clear, all right? I told you the sun is coming in, so clarity is moving towards you. Your spirit team and, and the most high will illuminate these people in these situations so you can see them clearly just know that gemini okay uh so that you can make better decisions for yourself but i definitely feel like there's a lover coming in towards you or a very close friend that wants to be a lover right you have friendship this friendship is leading to more and it will okay they're saying surrender to creativity as well so let your imagination soar stay open uh don't romanticize someone i just want to let you know that i don't feel like you will have to here because i feel like whoever is coming towards you is very um intellectual they're smart here as well especially if you're dealing with the libra this person is going to show you a lot of love um they're ruled by venus so they lead with their heart here as well so you'll know how this person is feeling because they'll express it your card is saying stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem here so they're going to give you good advice as well like i told you here gemini so be aware uh this person could have libra in their chart anyways anywhere so don't get too um caught up on signs here okay 
Think about the energy. You have obsession. Someone in this connection is gripped by <laughs> obsessive thoughts. So um, Spirit is saying surrender your ego here, okay? Um, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can uh, work against you, but humility will further your goals here, okay? Some of you guys want a connection really bad. It may not be with the person that is actually coming in towards you. It may be with someone else, and that person may have toxic traits that you don't quite see yet, and that's why your spirit team is pushing you in a new direction or sending someone else in um, to replace <laughs> the attention or the obsession you have for someone here, okay? That is a clear message that I'm getting for you guys here. So don't try to go against the grain of uh, where the universe is trying to take you. Go with the flow, okay? Like the river here. They're saying go with your heart, um, not, what about, not with an obsessive thought here, okay? Let your heart move you. You have self-care here. Um, clear your energy field from toxic people and situations, okay? And focus on yourself before acting, okay? Surrender fear. <clears throat> Surrender your fear of intimacy. So your card is saying here, Gemini, you are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart here, okay? And you can call in this lover or bring this lover closer to you by um, taking care of yourself here and ridding yourself of toxic connections here and energy. So practice some self-care here. That's what they're letting me know. Let's go into your cards here. You have the high priestess. I feel like there is someone that may be wearing a mask here, Gemini. And they're wanting you to take a closer look at some relationship that some of you guys may be having deep, deep, obsessive thoughts about. Okay, Because this person is not who they uh, truly portray themselves to be. Okay. They're going to be seen very, very soon. That's what I'm feeling here. You're going to see this person for who they truly are. And the, oh my goodness, I don't know why they're saying that. Like the cat is going to be let out the bag. I don't know why they're saying that, okay? But uh, the spirit is definitely letting me know that someone's going to be illuminated for who they truly are, okay? The high priestess is, is saying here on your card, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not the time for action. This is a time for you to use your intuition and sit in solitude, okay? In silence and try to connect with your higher self here. They're saying um, a lot of you guys will start to uh, receive messages uh, or um, epiphanies, <laughs> okay? Um, or your intuitive gifts will start to be uh, heightened at this time, okay? To receive the wisdom that you need. That's what your spirit team is saying, okay? So you're definitely moving in a new direction here, okay? Whoever you're thinking about, this person may not be emotionally available to you, okay? Um, or they may not be giving you exactly what you deserve and what you need here. So your spirit team is wanting you to uh, start over, start something new here, okay? With the full card that is coming in here. Okay, that's showing up. So they're wanting you to... <clears throat> Keep a positive mindset, but don't let some romance that you feel inside towards someone blind you from the red flags, okay? Your card is saying a new start. Trust yourself. Push your fears aside and take a leap of faith here because there's someone new coming in towards you here, okay? So you really need to clear your energy field like your card is saying um, and think before acting here. Focus on yourself before acting here, okay? Hope that is connecting with you guys. You have the Knight of Swords that's coming coming in towards you um, as what you need to focus on here, Gemini, all right? They're saying choose intellectually um, or choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones. There's going to be a sudden um, or unexpected change coming into your life. Review your options carefully here, okay? This may be involved in you uh, really seeing someone for... I don't want to say it like that for the lie that they are. I'm just I'm just going to say it. <laughs> All right. That's the high priestess. There's secrets about someone that you don't know about, but it's going to be uh, 
clarity is going to move in where you can see this person very clearly and you're going to have to disconnect yourself from them okay in order to move forward in your journey here okay spirit is wanting you to be very decisive focused and put up some healthy boundaries from someone um, that may not be good for you, okay? Because I feel like this is almost a warning uh, with someone here, okay? Yes. You may be holding on to this person or have this person in your heart. It may be a past person for some of you guys with the Three of Swords energy that's coming in the past position here, okay? Um and they want you to work on your heart on healing it with the three of swords here. All right. So someone from the past may be coming back towards you or your heart may still be very much with them. Um, and this is what uh, you need to heal at this time. OK, a relationship that you had to sever, um, had to sever past tense or have to sever. OK, present energy here okay you're feeling very hurt um or disappointed about it here okay your card is saying great sadness that will heal with time just know this let go of the past okay personal growth that comes from challenges no you will grow from this uh this experience here okay um and start to be there for yourself. Start to practice self-care and heal your heart right now at this moment here. Okay, there's this need also I'm getting that you some of you guys need to do some shadow work on um, things that may have happened to you in the past here. I'm touching my face. I don't usually do that. But yeah, it feels like it's so mental. It overtakes you. Okay. Uh, this sadness or a, a relationship that turned out to be very bad or a relationship you're in that you need to release. That's very painful here. Okay. Spirit is saying, trust this too shall pass. Okay. Know that th this is a lesson and you'll be able to see, uh, clearly, um, very soon. How you need to uh, proceed forward here okay so what's crowning you here gemini is the star card and your card is saying have faith the future is bright here dreams do come true positive changes that bring an end to challenging times the light at the end of the tunnel here okay so a wish fulfillment is coming in Better relationships are coming in the future that's why you have the ace of cups here you may have a friend uh it has a secret love for you or has love for you wanted to be with you at first but you were so into a, a relationship um that you were lost emotionally and mentally in it here okay but spirit is letting you know that new love is coming in with the ace of cups here okay uh, a beautiful new emotional experience is coming for you in the future a romantic relationship or deep friendship okay awakening of your abilities um psychically especially with the high priestess i told you you'll have this period of heightened int uh, intuition here so be aware of of those gifts that you have and exercise them here okay that's what they're saying there's there's also let me know that you should expect communication from a new lover very soon here someone's gonna want to be very close to you or come into your life and really be there for you emotionally okay so make sure you open yourself up okay that's why you have this card of surrender fear surrender your fear of intimacy with whoever this is maybe a water sign that is coming into your life <clears throat> that's what i'm seeing here excuse me you guys so your suggested approach you have the four of cups that is here all right um let's clarify this i'm gonna see where exactly they're moving us to Clarify this four, four of pentacles. If I said four of cups, sorry. Four of pentacles. Why is this coming in here for Gemini? They're wanting you to make good decisions for yourself. This is your approach here. Some of you guys need to set firm boundaries with others. You have the seven of swords, seven of wands that's coming in here. Excuse me, you have these clovers. It's not clovers. Um, 
seven of wands though that's what this card means here okay um you guys may have been dealing with someone that was financially dependent upon you um, or they were just very dependent upon you emotionally as well there's this need for you to possibly hold back uh, with the four of pentacles financially and emotionally here okay and start to think more intellectually of how to resolve an issue that you're having here okay that's why you have this card with the knight of swords saying choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional ones here okay so intellectually you don't want to financially break yourself for someone um or physically break yourself for someone here, okay? That may not have your best intentions in mind or just be straight liars, okay? With the high priestess coming in, okay? Um, telling me that there are secrets from someone here um, that you're dealing with here. So there's this need for you to really guard your energy, protect yourself at this time uh, with the seven of wands that's coming in. They want you to choose battles wisely and learn to say no um, in some situations here, Gemini. All right. So you have the night. Okay. This is what you need to know. Okay. This is why this is coming out here. Oh, the clock just said 16, 16, just to let y'all know. Okay. <laughs> Listen to the signs and the synchronicities here. All right. So you're thinking, well, let's look at the numbers here. 16. Okay. Six plus one is seven. So that seven usually means good luck or a lot of potential or, uh, you being very uh, ambitious and um, thinking, uh, feeling like something is growing in the positive direction. But the Knight of Cups is coming in the reverse position. So I feel like someone is being very um, manipulative or um, they don't have good intentions if the Knight of Cups is coming in the reverse position here. Okay. Um, this is the person that you need to say no to whoever you're having these gripping thoughts about obsessive thoughts about okay um or someone that you're dealing with or have dealt with in the past with the three of source that may have hurt you emotionally um or physically okay so um whatever heartbreak you're experiencing with someone i feel like if this person is presently in your life, you need to really look at this person for who they truly are and make a uh, a mental decision um, about the connection and the relationship, okay? And see uh, this person and the relationship for what it truly is, okay? Because I feel like someone's intentions aren't truly there. They may be verbally telling you that there is love there, um, but in reality, it you're going to experience disappointment and the in in a connection here that's what i'm feeling like if they let you down once there's a good chance that they will do this again here okay so this is what you need to know this is what the past person trying to come back into your life as well here gemini so you have the seven of pentacles that's coming in here it's saying seeds will plant it, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future and unnecessary worry here. All right. So if you're worried, if you're going to be able to uh, financially take care of yourself or if you're on the right track, OK, or is it the right time to do something here? OK, this is a clear message that. <sighs> This is the this is the right time to make changes in your life. Um, this is the time for you to have patience with yourself here. And I feel like spirit is saying you're going in the right direction. Keep going. Keep working towards um, improving yourself right now at this moment. Okay. You have the page of pentacles that's coming in here as your future energy. They're saying time to get to work. <laughs> Gemini okay um time for you to start to work on yourself start start to invest in yourself okay the pinnacles comes in when we're talking about this physical world when we're talking about work money our daily life our body our time our attention okay there's this there's this need for you to really invest in yourself here all right your card is saying an excellent opportunity will present itself financially okay uh for you happy news about your career promotions or scholarships or a new area of study here this is where you need to put your energy here don't 
don't worry that you will be lacking because you're leaving some physical person here or there's some disconnection between you and a, a, a potential, well, a possible lover here, okay? Um, there's this need for you to really know the power that you hold inside of yourself and know that you can uh, succeed uh, even if you're just out there solo dolo doing it alone, okay? That's what I need you guys to know, all right? That you will be successful. There's this need for you um, to plan for yourself right now at this moment and trust yourself, trust your own wisdom um, and the knowledge that you have inside, okay? That is your reading, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves. I will be back with you guys with another reading. See you guys later. Bye.